uh, out there. It's, it's time was here. I'm about to make some breakfast. Uh, decided to have uh, breakfast here because with the economy like it is, and I don't know, although uh, I need to start eating a bit better. So, and you know, the, the, the money's tight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So, um, I'm here this morning to make um, it's Sunday morning. My wife's upstairs sleeping, my son, he's at work. So, I'm just gonna make myself a nice keto breakfast. Um, and what I'm gonna be making is uh, steak and eggs, one of my favorite. When uh, me and my best friend Barry will be going out uh, traveling to. Um, like uh, Texas and uh, Florida, uh, we go to the truck, truck stops, and uh, one of my favorite places is uh, the Waffle House. Uh, shout out to the Waffle House, you guys, you guys rock. So um, I would get steak and eggs there. Um, I would have pancakes, but we're not doing pancakes because they're not keto friendly. But I do have some uh, pancake uh, syrup that's sugar free. So I'm trying my best. Anyway, um, I'm going to join me when I make up this uh, steak and eggs. Um, I have um, some steak here. I'm gonna put some cheese in it and I'm gonna make um, scrambled eggs. Uh, some people have a, have their own take. Uh, I was watching Gordon Ramsay make his his um, scrambled eggs, which turned out pretty well. I just, I just don't have creme fresh, but. I, <laughs> We're not gonna do that. So anyway, um, I'm gonna show you what we got for right now. So, be right back. Okay, you'll see here there's like eight ounces, I don't know, but four ounces of robot steaks. The steaks is um, I got this from um, um, a store, but you can get this uh, at regular commercial stores, and you can use this as a ribeye, and you can also use this. It's frozen, but you can also use this to make um, cheesesteaks. Big fan of cheesesteaks. Um, I have friends from Philly, and uh, they use ribeye, so I'm using some ribeye. But this is the same type of meat if you would want to use some cheesesteaks. Then here is it's some char cheddar cheese. I'm not gonna show the brand, but it's store bought. But uh, they're not paying me, so I'm not gonna help you <laughs> until you help me. <laughs> I'm a brother out. And then uh, last we have four eggs here. Um, these are uh, cage-free uh, eggs. Uh, we're gonna do four because I'm a big guy and I want to make sure that I'm full. So within the next three hours, I'm not gonna be craving for any more food. So anyway, um, we're gonna go through all the steps. Okay, right back. So hold tight. Okay guys, uh, this is approximately an ounce of sharp cheese. Um, it's already been um, shredded already. Um, so this is an extra step uh, that I like um, because I like shredded cheese and this is sharp. Sharp means that it has much more texture and flavor um, than just the regular uh, cheddar cheese. It has like a little bit more of an edge and I like that in my um, in my um, scrambled eggs. So that's it. Okay, um, I've already cracked four eggs already. You know how to crack an egg. I'm not going through that. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do also now, I'm just going to just beat my eggs real quickly uh, uh, just to get the scramble on. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, black pepper. This has already um, been ground already, so I'm just going to put some in here. Um, this is possibly like a, maybe a quarter to a half, a half, or so, like a maybe like maybe two or three, four shakes. I like I like the pepper because the pepper does add a little bit of flavor to the eggs. Um, and then this is some all-purpose seasoning, but this is a, a adobo sauce. Um, but uh, I'm adding a little bit, but I gotta watch my salt here. So I'm just gonna do a couple taps, okay? A little dab will do you. Now I'm just gonna just go ahead and, and mix this up here. So we can just go ahead and get everybody incorporated.
Okay, this, you don't really have to beat it too much because it's already been beaten. Well, it's not beaten, <laughs> but it's, it's just that it's scrambled now, okay? I'm not gonna put anything else. That's ready to go. Um, the cheese is ready to go, and we got steak there just thawing out a little bit, but uh, we're gonna do the scrambled eggs now, okay? What I'm going to do, uh, I'm gonna put it like on a medium pan, um, and um, it should take no, well, no more than about maybe like maybe one to two minutes, but you'll see. All right. Okay, um, we're about to let's get the shows running. I'm going to be using the, this uh, spatula in order to um, use my eggs. Some people use the fork. I use the the, the um, spatula because it gives you much more control. Plus, when I'm trying to get the um, contents out, it's already set up to go. Um, so, with that being said, we're going to rock and roll. I put that down for a second. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you can hear that bad boy cooking up there. Okay. So, you can see the edges are, are cooking up very nicely. And I'm just going to let that cook for just a second. And then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my scrambled eggs. Then I'm going to pull back a little bit. And then, on the side, pull back a little bit. It's kind of like I'm trying to make an omelet, but I'm not trying to make an omelet. So, I try to, you know, let the edges cook a little bit. When I see the edges on the sides right here cook up, then that tells me that I can put a little bit more in into that way. So now, it's, um, everything is starting to happen real quick. I'm gonna get my cheese now. Apply my cheese, because this tells me that I'm all set to go. So, cheese is good. Spread that out a little bit. There we go. One side right here. And you can just see here, just follow the same method. Okay, so I'm going to be back. Okay, now um, the eggs are resting on the, on the side here. Um, smells pretty good too. Tasty. <laughs> so they're, they're resting, and now we're gonna start on the steak now. The steak's gonna be cooking for about about three to five minutes uh, per side. And um, they're, they're, they're frozen, but uh, it doesn't take long for these to, to cook up. And then uh, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So just hold on. Okay, now I just use the same pan that I just had used before. Um, I'm not trying to make more dishes because that I already have the dish, and and if I don't clean it up, my wife's gonna get me. So I'm just gonna use this one dish here. I've sprayed a little bit of pan in here already, and now these are gonna be cooking up. Okay, it's gonna take um, I would say probably uh, four to five minutes uh, per side. So this should be ready in a few minutes, okay? I'm gonna show you the end result of these when they cook, okay? I'm not gonna go through the cooking process because it's pretty much explanatory. If you ever cooked these things before, you cooked steak before, you know how it, how it works. The pan is at a, kind of like a medium setting. So that's what we're gonna be for right now, okay? Um, so. Okay, this is the finished product of the, of the ribeyes. The, they were pretty much done uh, when we last seen. I, I, I think within the last uh, 10, 50 seconds after I shot the video off, they were ready to come off, so they just took them off. So this is the result. Uh, 
eggs with cheese, scrambled style, pepper, and some all-purpose uh, seasoning. This is the ribeye steaks uh, seasoned with pepper, uh, three to about five minutes per side. Um, they, they cook perfectly and it smells pretty good. Now we're going to try this. So this is the uh, steak here. Still piping hot. Mmm, very delicious. And this is the egg. Mm. Very good too. So the, the, the steak uh, was cooked very good. I could taste the pepper in it and it was cooked all the way through from a frozen steak. The eggs, I can taste the sharpness of the cheese. Um, it's very light and fluffy. And uh, the cheese definitely adds a little bit of kick to it. Um, so a lot of people put um, sharp cheese in their macaroni and cheese because they add a little bit of um, oomph to it um, in texture. So that's good. So um, you guys, thanks a lot for watching the video and uh, watch it again if you want to learn these skills or you know just reach out to me for any questions or comments. Um, thanks for joining me for breakfast, and uh, you guys take care. Bye-bye. Bon appetito, as they say.